The morning's other top stories, a tense situation in North Korea every single day, a new development. It's grown more tense today, George. Again, a show of force now from the U.S. military in response one day after North Korea warned that war is possible at any moment. The U.S. has taken action, proving that it is taking these new threats from Kim Jong-un's government seriously. White House correspondent Jim Avila has been watching all of it all night long. Good morning to you, Jim. Good morning, Josh. Certainly the United States sending a stern message using its military overnight. The United States sent two B-2 stealth bombers in a nonstop flight, 6,500 miles round trip over the Pacific, to drop dummy ammunitions over a South Korean military range. The United States saying it's, quote, providing extended deterrence to our, uh, to our allies in the Asia-Pacific region, letting them know that they can do that, exactly that, send a, a bomber all that way across, the, United, across the, uh, the, the ocean, all the way over to North Korea. Now, this, of course, is in response to North Korean uh, increased tensions, where they've been saying recently, as late as yesterday, that they're going to wage war against South Korea and the United States. Now, perhaps ratcheting that tension down just a bit is a picture that's been viral all over the computer in this country, and that's this picture showing North Korean military leaders looking at a computer uh, that looks pretty antiquated. And people have been laughing about that, but the United States is not laughing. And in fact, the White House said yesterday, North Korea's bellicose rhetoric and the threats that they engage in follow a pattern designed to raise tension and intimidate others. So things pretty hot between North Korea and the United States right now. Josh? We'll certainly be keeping an eye on it. Thank you, Jim. Meanwhile, President Obama is predicting Congress.